This prayer and reflection is based on the encounter brochure that can be downloaded from the Signs of Our Times website. See the prayers in the resources section. The four page booklets are available for group use for the five themes, dialogue, inclusion, accompaniment, encounter and love. In the spirit of reconciliation, we acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land who have walked and cared for this land for thousands of years and their descendants who maintain their spiritual connections and traditions. We thank them for caring and for sharing their cultures, their spiritualities and their ways of living on the land and in this place that we all call home. Let us observe a moment of silence to reflect on the millions of footprints that have travelled the dreaming pathways and our own loved ones who have gone before us. May we continue to walk gently and respectfully together with each other. We gather together in prayer, mindful of God's presence, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God of love and compassion, you call us to be people of welcome, embracing each encounter with another as an encounter with you. Teach us to be attentive, to welcome your word, no matter how it comes to us. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who welcomes all. Amen. Together, we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us Amen. this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And now we listen to the word. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I, myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We now reflect individually. Each person will now have some time to reflect silently on where you felt God speaks to you in this passage. Did a certain phrase or image move you or touch your heart? We listen to each other. You are now invited to share what spoke to you in the passage. We ask that no one else commit, uh, comment or reply. We receive it in silence, the sharing of each person, conscious that the Spirit also speaks to us through one another. I was particularly struck by Jesus telling the disciples or asking them, why are you frightened? Why do doubts arise? And maybe as I reread re the gospel, we might be reminded of something else, Peter. We listen again to the word. 
While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had heard this, he showed them his hands and his feet. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I suppose that the, the peace be with you, like we say that so often, don't we? We do. And, and I guess going to Sherberg, that's really, my, that's really my prayer for the people of Sherberg, that they can find peace in their daily lives. And because, you know, there's been so much pain there over the years, and now with the youth suicides, it's it must be extremely difficult for some of the elders and the young people to feel peaceful. That's right. Mm. And I think by our presence brings hope and through our actions. And R Ravina, I just, and Peter, you know, we were up at Sherbrooke just recently at a funeral and I just observed how people responded to you and the love and the respect that they've got for you. And that's because you've been going there for so many years. Mm -hmm. And I just see that your role there is just so important. And I guess for you and I, Peter, and the Commission, you know, we want to just continue to support you in your role um, and to, to offer any support that we can, because we really do believe that Sherbrooke is an extraordinarily beautiful, place with a lot of hope mm, that's right. and, and I guess that's why Murray Ministry also works alongside the Catholic Justice and Peace um, knowing of the good works that you do and the hope that you bring to the community yeah I'm struck by Jesus showing his wounds and reminding his disciples that he went through a very difficult time and yet he said to them, don't be afraid, don't have doubts. And as you said, Marie, he offered them peace. And I think he's reassuring them that in the midst of difficulties and trouble, everything will be all right in the end, just as it was for him. And we know that the Sherbrooke community is going through a lot of difficult times and we're there to be with the community and accompany them through those difficult times and hopefully reassure them as Jesus did the disciples that they needn't be frightened or doubt and that in him is peace they can be assured of peace despite all the difficulties and the troubles. And we should too not feel hopeless as we go up there and say, oh, look at how much sorry business there is in the community. It's, it's hopeless. Well, it's not. I know just as we're driving into Sherberg, when I see that sign that says, you know, welcome, mm. I get a sense of it's really good to be here. And, uh, and I always say to you, Peter, you know, this, the welcome signs here. And I do really get a sense that somewhere we sort of belong to there. And that's, that's a marvellous feeling. So really, for people who don't understand Sherberg or, or haven't had any experience of Sherberg, there's really no need to be fearful. No. No need to be fearful at all. No because we're all one. So perhaps 
the reflections been very meaningful and we come to our, our closing prayer and I suppose we try and practice some meditative prayers mantra sitting comfortably while we breathe deeply and that takes some practice but it's it's a good way just to enter into the presence of Jesus so as we inhale peace we exhale love inhale peace exhale love we make our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.